welcome to the vlog. It's right now Thursday. Um, I'm holding my arm. I, I've lost my arm. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm holding my arm like this because I've had um, something done in both my arms and this one still hurts. But nothing bad. You know, it's something I have to get done every few years anyway. So, you know times um so i will also probably be wearing a jumper for the next few days just because i've got to keep it bandaged up and plastered and it's just i'm not comfortable really showing it um but yeah it's just in case you guys wonder why like my my um angles are going to be a bit different it's just because right now my arm is on my leg helping me hold it up because my arms feel really heavy right now which happens, you know, that's usual. Usually my arms start to feel back to normal after about two or three days. So yeah, I can usually start to be myself again soon. I'm hoping, at least with this arm, I'll be back to normal in two or three days. Um, and yeah, and before anyone asks, I don't think I've actually said anything yet. Yes, that is on the engagement finger. No, I am not engaged. Um, it's just in memory of someone that I lost um, around this time, so I'm wearing it between the day we lost her and the day the funeral was, because um, it was a year ago now. So, yes. Um, what else? I keep feeling tingles on my arm and I'm like, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> now when I can't check what's going on. Cause I've got it, literally I've got a plaster on it and it's not a clear plaster this time which is kind of weird. Um, so I can't actually check, it's okay. And I've got a bandage around it as well that I've got to keep on until tomorrow. And that's on both arms, but this arm's the one that feels weird. Plus because it's that one. I had the bigger incision. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, this week has just been, you know, getting college work done. I did my shoot Monday, which was really good. Um, and yeah, I am pretty much done with shoots. Well, I am done with shoots. I don't really want to continue getting any more done. Um, I have gone through my photos from two of the shoots, picked out my favourites, and I'm right now highlighting them on contact sheets on paper. And then what I'm going to do is, out of them, I've got two colours, so I've got ones that I like, um, that, you know, I think might use, and I've got ones that I like that. I won't use but I want to I quite like a couple of the aspects in it so I do want to explain that explain why I like the aspects um so there's one from the shoot that I did on Monday which is um it's completely underexposed but I really like her pose so I want to put that in and just say you know it is underexposed but I do like the way that she's posed and then explain why I like it I'm not quite sure why I like it yet, but hey-ho. Um, but yeah, and then Wednesday I got feedback from my last assignment and my tutor was all happy with me. Fun times. And yeah, I did really go good on the last assignment. So once this one's in, we'll, I think it all gets sent off to the exam board. And then yeah, I'm about to sneeze. I have a weird thing about sneezing or coughing whilst recording. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, so it will get sent off then to the exam board and then we will get our overall grades, um, a few weeks after. I think they said the turnaround was about two weeks, but I don't know. Um, I'm hoping we do actually get a grade so that we kind of know what level we're working at. Um, but my tutors are happy, you know. Last year I was working at like a distinction level and this year it seems I'm a merit level but that is still good and you know I can still get on good university courses with that so I am happy. Um, I've also been suggested a couple of things to look into so I'm going to look into them and yeah. I don't think you guys have seen this since I did my hair. We did my hair. We did it last Saturday. No, we did it Sunday. 
so you would have seen it but you would have seen it whilst it was still wet um yeah it's all right the red didn't really work um the way we wanted so that's meant to be like a strip of red this side and then it's going to be a strip of blue this side but it didn't work so there's just red at the roots <laughs> but i do quite like the little contrast there um and yeah i'm happy with it you know it, i like it that it's updated um still got air dye <laughs> on my skin that's because like i haven't been able to properly wash my hair yet and i now can't um for a few more days but yeah i am going to get myself set up um because i want to get some writing done for a bit just keep my mind off things and yeah i will see you all tomorrow okay so it's saturday night um this arm is still annoying me i don't think it's healing um which is kind of annoying but i may just be wrong um this arm doing fine you know i bump it occasionally and it hurts but that's it um i lean on it funny and it hurts but that's what i expected um and yeah so i am right now just going to get some writing done i've done a bit of college work today but everything every time i try and do it it makes my mac sound like it's about to explode and i don't really want to be having the mac doing that i like 11 o'clock at night so I'm just going to get some writing done, which is pretty easy for my back. Um, and then I will do some tomorrow when I get home. Because I am out for the afternoon tomorrow. No idea what time I'm getting home. Not a clue. So yeah, I'll get some more done tomorrow. And then, yeah. Um, don't really know what else to say. See you tomorrow. Okay, so it's right now Sunday night. Um, you can kind of see my hair the way it was. Just the red patch there. Fun times. Um, we managed to get the plasters off, so I went and have a bigger, well, small plaster on there still because it was a bit odd. And then we have a tiny plaster on the arm, which my new one's in. The new one is still kind of warm and sensitive, but it's not too bad. Whereas this one, um, Mum was a bit worried about it, so we're going to be keeping an eye on that. Uh, photo shoot. I say photo shoot. The tournament went really well today. I got about 1,700 photos, and then there was about 10 videos as well over the space of like three, four hours. Um, so I am happy. You know, I did pretty well. And yeah. Got some college work done as well so i managed to get things highlighted so i'm going to download all those photos and then actually just get them up on spark so at least that's done and then yeah over the next few days i will be looking through the photos from today and the videos from today as well as reviewing any other shoots that i've done editing you know doing everything that i need to get done um but yeah I'm trying to see if better that side i don't know um, yeah, don't think anything else really exciting has happened. We did get some new, we got these new cards. Which side is it? I want to say this side, yeah. If you've ever heard of Rocket Book, these are the revision card versions. So I'm quite excited to try them out. Um, they work with friction pens um and yeah so i need to re-download the rocket book app and i will be giving them a go and yeah but anyway my plan for tomorrow if we don't decide to go out i don't know what mom's plan is if she wants to head out tomorrow or not um is probably nip up to the gp to give them something because I forgot, we weren't told we had to pick something up before my appointment on Thursday and because I, I can't remember if I actually mentioned what I had done um, so we weren't told we had to pick one up so they sent us to pick one up so I'm just going to take it up tomorrow for them um, which is fine um, what else? 
I don't really know what else. Oh yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I forgot what I was talking about. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be also making contact sheets of the photo shoot today, but I'll also separate them into folders, but I'll do that either now or start that tomorrow. It depends how I feel. Might do some writing. And then, yeah, continue sorting out stuff for the other contact sheets. We will see them. I've got a lot to do. Uh, keeping myself busy. Um, and then creating the info sheets for all of the shoots that I've added. So I'm going to put down the focal length, the ISO, the aperture and the shutter speed. I think that's all the information. So I'll be putting all that in as well. Fun time. Yeah, I'm gonna go put all this into, send all this to my Mac and then, yeah, get this uploading because it's like half nine, I think. Yeah, it's half nine. So yeah, I better get this uploading. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm sure this is, sorry, sorry this is a short one, but yeah, I will see you all next week. Bye!